Hello and welcome to Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium. As we begin our California sea lion training demonstration here this afternoon, you'll notice that the keepers have come out and they have whistles in their mouths. They're also carrying buckets of fish. All the animals that are trained here at Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium, from our sea lions in their pool to the lions up in the grasslands to the sea turtles in the Scott Aquarium and more, are all trained using operant conditioning, focusing on positive reinforcements. And so that's what you're going to be seeing here today. The keepers are using a variety of vocal and hand signals to ask the sea lions to do certain behaviors. After the sea lion completes the desired behavior, they are then going to have a whistle blown by the keeper. The whistle is what we call a bridge when training animals here at the zoo, and basically is a high five or a thumbs up, and tells the animal, good job, you just did exactly what we asked you to do. And after they, after they receive that whistle blow, they then know they're going to receive a form of positive reinforcement. For our sea lions here this afternoon, they're going to receive a piece of fish, but all the other animals around the zoo are, tr are receiving different forms of reinforcement based off of each individual species. For example, our white rhinoceros, when they're trained behind the scenes, are not necessarily food motivated. So they receive a scrub brush behind the ears because that tactile reinforcement is what causes them to, to participate in training here at the zoo. And so we train all our animals here at the zoo, especially our California sea lions, for three main reasons. The first being for their everyday health care, which is a lot of what you're seeing here today. As you can see with our sea lions eating ear or eye drops from their keepers, the sea lions allow the keepers to give them the highest quality animal care by participating in their training every day here at the zoo. And so the sea lions can receive eye drops from their keeper staff. They also can get a daily rub down. They can allow the keepers to check their flippers, open up their mouths so they can check their teeth and gums. All to give our animals the highest quality animal care. Other animals around the zoo are also trained so that they can receive uh, injections, take blood draws, even use stethoscopes and ultrasounds. Also, we can give each and every animal here at the zoo the highest quality animal care. Also, we train our animals here at the zoo to give them mental stimulation. In the wild, our California sea lions would be focused much of their energy and their time on receiving their daily diets. For our sea lions here at the zoo, part of their training is learning new behaviors every day so they can receive that mental stimulation of constantly learning. Just like kids in school wouldn't want to learn the same thing day in and day out from their teachers, the same goes for our sea lions and their keeper staff here at the zoo. So a large amount of our training here at the zoo is to enrich the daily lives of our animals every single day here at Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium. And finally, we train our animals focusing on natural behaviors. In the wild, once again, our California sea lions would be spending much of their energy focused on getting their daily diets. Luckily for the sea lions here in their pool, they receive their daily diets from their keeper and nutritional staff. And so a large part of our training is focusing on exercising our animals and having them move their bodies just as they would if they were in the wild. And so once again, these are our California sea lions. So they would be found along the Pacific coast in the wild, ranging from Baja, Mexico, all the way to areas of Canada. And they have a large number of adaptations that help them survive their aquatic homes. For example, our sea lions can dive up to, up to depths of 600 feet deep. And during those deep, deep dives can hold their breath for around 40 minutes while underwater. They can even slow down their heart rate to deal with the changing water pressure in the habitat that surrounds them. Sea lions also have whiskers on the sides of their muzzles, which you can see here today. Those whiskers are so sensitive that they can even detect the vibrations of the fish in the water that they are hunting in the wild. Now we have five sea lions on display here at Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium, so I'll take the time to introduce them to you here. Uh, right here in the back of the pool, along the back wall, we have two adult females here at the zoo. Their names are Coco and Gemini. You can see them waving back there. They are six and seven years old and were born here at this very uh, sea lion pool, and they are sisters. We also have one adult male sea lion, Chino. He's being trained along the front of the pool here today. He is our largest sea lion here at the zoo and is around 11 or 12 years old. And he, um, and he is right up there in the front of the exhibit space. And then we have two pups um, born this very summer. They're probably hanging around, around the rocks here in the pool here this afternoon. Their names are Poppy and Nova. They were born on May 25th and June 5th of this summer. So they're just a little over two months old. And once again, they were born here, at, uh, here in this very sea lion pool. 
Now our male Chino actually has a very interesting backstory. As a younger sea lion, he is actually from the wild, which is why we don't know exactly how old he is. As a younger sea lion, he got his head stuck in a nasty fishing accident, which left him with a large amount of scarring. You can still see the scars on the side of his face from one side of his cheek to the underside of his face to the other side of his cheek, even here today. Um, that large amount of scarring tissue after his rehabilitation period along the California coastline prevents him from opening his mouth all the way as he would if he were in the wild. And so he cannot adequately hunt for himself as he would naturally. And so it was then determined that he would be moved here to Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium, where he's been our big breeding male ever since. Now, oftentimes here at the zoo, we get questions about our seals, and we haven't had seals here at Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium for many, 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 many years. We only have California sea lions presently, and so there's three easy ways you can tell the difference between the two. California sea lions have external ear flaps, which you can see here today, and seals do not. Sea lions also move differently outside of the water on, on land. Sea lions can move their flippers on land like feet, while seals are very awkward on land and can only, only roll around on the ground like a, a large and very, very awkward caterpillar. And finally, they move differently through the water. Sea lions use their powerful front flippers to steer themselves as they move through the water while using their back flippers to propel themselves. And the opposite of true is true of seals. Seals use, to use their powerful front flippers to propel themselves through the water while using their back flippers to steer. And so next time you visit our zoo or another zoo or aquarium, you can use those three differences to tell the difference between seals and sea lions. But as we wrap it up here today, oftentimes here at the zoo, you, we get questions about how you can help wild animals. And there's a way you can help wild sea lions even here in Omaha, Nebraska. Many different types of aquatic and marine life are rapidly being depleted in our world's oceans due to irresponsible and unsustainable seafood harvesting practices. If you would like, you can pick up a seafood watch guide for myself here today. You can fold up and fit in your wallet and you can take it with you. Or you can download the mobile app from Monterey Bay Aquarium. Next time you visit the grocery store or go to a restaurant and you're buying seafood, you can use this guide to make sustainable and responsible choices. Your choices, even here in the middle of the USA in Omaha, Nebraska, will make a positive impact on our world's oceans so we can enjoy sea lions and numerous other species of marine life for generations to come in our world's oceans. But as we wrap it up here today, we want to thank you for taking the time to visit here at Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium. If you would like, you can check out all the other feeding and training demonstrations throughout your day here at Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium. The times and locations of all of these are located on the Insert to the Zoo's map, as well as on the Zoo's downloadable app and on the Zoo's online website. So you can learn more about our featured creatures here at the Zoo and how we care for them each and every day. But with that, if you have any last questions about our California sea lions or want to pick up one of those seafood watch guides I just mentioned earlier, you can come over and ask myself. I'm over here in between the grandstand and the big tree. I have the mic and I'm wearing a hat. So you can come over and ask myself any questions you may have. But with that, thanks for taking the time for visiting here at Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium. And you, we hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.